Hello everyone. Welcome back to Gachuro Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix undisputed is having an issue with crashing at startup, stuck on loading screen, low FPS drop, won't load or not loading and even stuttering, lagging and freezing and many more issues which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into it. So uh, for the first time just follow all these kind of instructions and if you're for the first time to our channel then don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. So let's move to the workaround. First one, when you're having this issue, what you have to do is just have to restart your PC. That is what you have to do. For that, you just go over here, click on this icon and go for restart. After restarting, as well as you can, uh, most probably you can see after launching the Steam, try to play the game and that can even bring the issue up. You know, that can fix sometimes. So basic restart did fix many issues. So that's why I'm recommending you can try this out a very basic step so this is not going to work for many of you guys so you can move to the next one but you can try at least this one moving to the next one is all about you have to verify integrity of game file for that you just have to go over here right click and go to properties now from here go to local file now from here you have to click on verify integrity of game file so verify integrity of game file is going to fix a lot of issue actually if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular step. So this is very important and should not be neglecting this step. You have to try this for without any reason. So verify integrity of game file can fix a lot of issue and you can try this out. So this is very important. So you have to wait until this reaches to 100 percentage so that if anything is going in between those kind of issues will be completely fixed. And this particular step is actually did work for many of the issues which is happening, including crashing, stuttering, freezing, not loading and launching, low FPS drop, even freezing and you can try this out. Let this complete and we will move to the next one. Next one is all about you have to close all overclocking applications. So the overclocking applications are kind of like Discord and all those things. So in order to close this, just go over here in the start, go to task manager. Now, if you go to the task manager, as you can see right now, these things are running in the background, which I'm using right now. But apart from this, these things are running in the background. So simultaneously, there are around 98 things which is running in the background. So you have to, if you scroll down, you can see Discord is there, which is running in the background. And even if you scroll down, you can see LG Hub. Now uh, the M Cafe, which is running in the background and many other things, right? So what we have to do is we just have to end the task, not for everything, but for a few things like Discord and all those things. So select this one and go for end the task and you have to uh, do it one by one. Simultaneously for the LG Hub, you have to do the same. Simultaneously, you have to do a few things are there, which is draining out a lot of performance. For those things, you have to find out and you have to end the task each one by one. After ending the task, obviously, you have to close this one and go back to the game. And you can see the Steam will be completely ready and you can to try to launch the game and that can even try to help you guys out. Even after trying, if it's still not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about you have to sync the time, zone, region and language correctly. Even this can bring a lot of issue for that reason. Just go over here in the search, go to settings. Now from here, you have to go over here in the time and language. Now we have four options that is date and time, time and reach, language and region. So you have to click this one. So now, as you can see, you have to make sure this is enabled as well as uh, set time zone automatically should be enabled as well as if you go back, if you go to the language and region right now, you can see you have to make sure that you're on the correct country as well as the language has been set into correct one. This can also bring a lot of issue. So make sure this is done. And once you're done with it, just go back and try to play the game. If it's not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about you have to increase virtual memory. For that reason, we have to go over here. Now just go over here in the search and search for view advanced system setting. Just click on this one. Now from here, you have to click on settings. Once again, go to the advanced. Now from here, you have to click on change. Now make sure that over here, as you can see, automatically manage paging file size for all the drivers should be unchecked. If you mark it, you will not be able to select the respective local disk where the game is installed. So in my case, I'm only having local disk C. So the game is by default, the game is installed on local disk C. So what I have to do is I have to make sure I have to uncheck this for uh, very importantly, I have to uncheck this and make sure I have to select the respective local disk where the game is installed. And in my case, that is local disk C. Once you're done with this, you just have to click on custom size and we have to give the value initial size as well as the maximum size. So initial size is always 1.5 times the total RAM 
and maximum size is always three three times the total RAM. So if you don't know what is the RAM of your computer, just go over here in the search, go to settings. Now from here, you have to go to system over here. Now scroll down and go to about. Now from here, as you can see, minus 32 GB. So it's actually depends, you can able to find it. So this is 32. So I come to know that minus 32 GB. So based on this, I have to do the calculation. So do the calculations. I need a calculator. So I have to search for a calculator. So first thing what I have to do is I know that my RAM is 32 GB. So I have to do now the basic conversion from GB. I have to convert it into MB. For that reason, I have to multiply 32 into 1024. That is the basic conversion value. That is 32,768. Now what I have to do is I just have to move to the next one that is all over here. I have to give the value for maximum size and initial size for the maximum size is always like I said, it is 1.5 times the total RAM. So here we did the conversion that is 32 into 1024. So I have to multiply 32,768 into 1.5. So I have to multiply it. So that is 49,152. So I have to copy this and you have to paste it. So if the maximum size I have to find that is three times the total RAM. So we have to do the calculation once again, that is I'll do over here. So what I have to do is I have to convert 32 GB into 1024, that is 32,768. So I have to give the calculation for maximum size that is three times the total RAM. So I have to multiply it over here, that is 98,304. So I have to copy this, I have to paste it. So when you're done with this, just go for OK, then restart your PC and try to go back to the game. And that will be helping guys to fix the issue up. This is what you have to do. So after trying this out, most probably the issue has to be fixed. And even if it's not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about you have to run the game as an administrator. We can go it in two way. From here, you can go from Steam as well as on the going through the local disk. So I'll show it both the thing. So first, let me go from here, right click, go to properties go to local file, click on browse so that you are redirected to where the game is installed. Now from here, you have to right click and go for show more options and go to properties, click on compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator. And if this unchecked, you have to check this and go for OK, then try to launch the game. This is one method. And if you don't know how to go with the Steam, then you can navigate via over here in this PC, like going to the local to see for that, just open this. Now from here, go to program file x86. Now from here, you have to scroll down and navigate to Steam. Now from here, go to Steam apps. Now from here, go to common. Now from here, select undisputed. Now we are on the same folder as it is from the over here. So now select this one, right click and go to show more options, go to properties, go to compatibility and make sure that this program as an administrator is being checked. You have to check this and go for OK and try to launch the game. Parallelly, I would like to add up. You can also try launching from the installation folder itself. This is also worked for many of the users. Now try to launch the game from here itself. So that is going to help help you guys as well. This did work. So you can try in that way also. Moving to the next one is all about. You have to launch. Uh, you have to try with DX11, DX12 on the launch option. For that reason, just right click over here, go to properties. And over here, as you can see, launch option, we have to give two commands that DX11. Give this command, try to launch the game. If it's not working, change this to DX12. Sorry, it is DX12 and try to launch the game. That is going to work as well. Now you can try this out. If the both the things are not working, do not forget to change this to the older one that is uh, make it to zero like this. I mean, none. So you can try this out and try to play the game. Even after trying, if it's not working, we have apparently one more that is also about running the game on dedicated graphics card for just go over here. Now search for graphics settings. Click on this. Now from here you have, you can see that I'm already added many of the games over here. So simultaneously you have to add the same way so that the game will be here and you can try to do it up. Click on browse. Now from here we have to go to local C. Now scroll down and navigate to program file x86. Scroll down and navigate to steam folder over here. Now from here scroll down and navigate to steam apps. Click on common. Now from here go to undisputed. Select the respective folder and click on add. And over here, as you can see, it has been already added. But keep in mind right now, if you click on the options, this being set into let Windows decide, we have to change this to high performance without any issue. If it is on let Windows decide, you will not be having, you'll be having the trouble with while launching the game on crashing and all those things. So keep in mind, you have to change this to high performance and go for save and try to play the game. And that is going to work like a magic as well. 
even after trying all these things are not working we have a main steps which you have to try out that is all about you have to update the graphics card so i'll be providing link in the description to both so you don't have to worry so i'll be giving for both the nvidia as well as for the amd so if you're on the nvidia you have to give all the details like product type product series you know you have to give your product uh, rtx details operating system in my case it is windows 11 and download type and go for start search when you go like this you will be getting the version that is 528.49 and this has been released on uh, 2nd i think 8th february which is very recently two days back you have to download this and install this if you're on amd select the graphics over here select the respective model without any issue go for submit now from here after going to the submit you have to select windows 11 if you're on windows 11 if you're on windows 10 select this one and make sure on 64 bit so select respective one you have to download the adrenaline edition and if you're on windows 10 you have to download this particular adrenaline edition and download and install both the things this is about how updating the graphics to the latest versions but keep in mind for some users when they did this they had a lot of trouble more than this so that is issue because the latest version is having causing the issue up so if that is the scenario you have to do is you just have to roll back the driver for that reason go over here in the start and go back to over here in the device manager down from here you have to navigate to display adapters select the respective one from here and right click and go to properties go to driver there is an option to roll back the driver so after updating the driver if the particular issue is getting more worsened what you have to do is just have to roll back the driver like this that will fixing the issue up and this did work for many users as well so you can try this out Moving to the next one is all about you have to update your windows as the last one for that just go over here in the settings now go to windows update on the bottom left now from here make sure you're on on the latest versions of windows just download and install the latest version and after that try a restart and try to play the game and i would like to add you one more thing that if you're on the game with one local disk then you can uh the not with the one local disk but you're having all tried all these things and the last and the least one is all about uninstall the game and reinstall it back on another drive for example as you can see i'm only having local disk c so that is why um, I can uh, reinstall it back on this itself. But if you're having local disk D, etc., over here, so uninstall the game from C and try to install it back on B. And that did work for many of the users as well. So these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with Undisputed. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.